What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video now. I know it has been so long before I have posted a video, but I'm back with another one. We are going to be talking about how can you create a Louis Vuitton t-shirt for only $5. This is only for creative purposes only. So if you want to make some fun t-shirts, make sure you watch this whole entire video and watch my other videos, the Adidas shirt and the Nike shirt that I made a while back. You guys have been showing so much support. And if you want to continue on showing support, make sure you guys hit that like button, comment down below to help out the YouTube algorithm. So since you guys have been showing so much support, I have decided to actually go ahead and make my own clothing line brand which is called Restless. This is the sweater version that I'm wearing right now. I also have t-shirts. I will show you exactly what they look like right now. So if you guys want to go ahead and support that, send me a comment down below. I only have 10 shirts that I will be giving out for free for the first 10 people who comment. And this is what the shirts look like. Boom, I am still designing the website. Now, if you guys are wondering what type of website you can use to create your own clothing brand, this is just a rough draft that is on format.com. Uh, there is a monthly subscription to it, but they do give you a free trial and will be dropping in June, as in I will be finishing the website on Shopify. Now right here is another shirt that I do wanna do only for creative purposes. If this video happens to get about 5,000, 10,000 views, 10,000 likes, whole bunch of comments. I will actually do this shirt just to show you guys how it's done. I'm pretty hype about this one. This one looks really dope. So uh, let's show some support. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's get on with this video now. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you go to the actual website, Louis Vuitton, and you wanna try to make sure that you can find a t-shirt that they don't have like their little their like leather logos on the back. So I found this shirt right here is pretty easy. It's a black and white design. It's on a white t-shirt. Uh, the t-shirt design is literally the same as all the other t-shirts that I have, which is 8.6 inches on the sleeve from the shoulder down. It's not nothing that dramatic. So we're gonna use this design right here. Now, what you can do is zoom in really close and just take a snapshot of the, the logo. Remember, this is only for creative purposes only. Do not try to sell this shirt. You will get sued. I'm not trying to get sued. Don't do that to me, Lewis. Now that you have this snapshot, what you can do is take it to Photoshop if you have that design. And my recommendation would be just to erase all of the extra stuff on the back background because what you're gonna have to do is I am using a Cricut Maker. You're gonna to have to copy this after you erase it, take it to your Cricut Maker. Your Cricut Maker design is going to open up. What you do is you take your design that you have. Let's see, we have it, don't have it. You wanna take it, go to new project, you're gonna upload, and you see I have it already here. But this is the thing, when you bring it into your Cricut Maker, you are allowed to erase the background on the image. So erase the outer white layer and erase the outer white layer that's in between the design. You're gonna keep the black part because the, the outline is gonna be what's in the t-shirt. Now most images are about four by four and what I'm gonna assume, I don't have the real shirt, but what I'm gonna assume that the image is gonna be a four by four so you can keep your parameters so it doesn't look distorted. You hit four, enter. And literally what it's going to do is it's going to just make it 4x4.6 four because that won't distort the image. doesn't matter where you place your image because you can always fix it when it's time to actually cut it out in your Cricut Maker. Uh, you're going to see that the image is going to be pretty sharp. You don't want to have it too close to the edge. And because you're doing vinyl, you're going to want to mirror your image, get it. There we go. Now we don't want it close to the edge because if you have it close to the edge, what's going to happen is going to get it's going to cut the design off. Now the tools that you're going to need is going to be a weeder right here, which you can get uh, when you order sometimes the vinyl, you no know, tape, or even if you have the actual Cricut uh, cutter right here. Because the next thing you're going to need to do is you see that you don't want to waste any vinyl. Now I have extra vinyl right here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to look on my design on the Cricut Explorer space. You're gonna see that you're gonna not wanna go past five inches basically. So, and go out a little bit past four. So on your Cricut cutter, what you're gonna do is extend this out right here and make sure you cut your design at the 
before the five, right? A little bit after the five. Now that your front label is designed, now you gotta go to the back because we have to make that image super big. So let's exit out this and let's get back to our original design. Now that you see this, the design is way too big for your mat board. So you're gonna have to go ahead and make this a biggest size it can be, make it 12, but you still can see that it's still too big for your mat board. It's still gonna be big, but we're gonna just make sure that it's not like super close to the edge. So this should be a winner. 12, 12, the top, the sides, make sure you got some space on the ends and the sides, which I do. Make sure you hit your mirror because you're gonna have to heat press this in the vinyl. Um, let's go ahead and hit okay. And check out your design. Make sure everything is within the parameters for the printing. Then you wanna make sure you have your mat board already ready, which is gonna be the 12 by 12, shiny side down. It should look like this right here. Stick your mat board in, hit the arrow up, goes in, hit continue, continue starts to do that, make sure you have your Cricut on custom because you're going to hit sport flex, you're going to hit pressure more, you're going to hit the fine board point blade, and you're going to hit C, and let's see what this looks like. You're going to have two different designs that are weeded out completely just like this this is going to be the back this is going to be the front make sure you guys pay attention on if you're doing this design that you guys weed it out the correct way because if you don't you're going to have to start from scratch and do the whole thing over is not no fixing trust me there's no fixing i messed up plenty of shirts while i'm weeding this design out i have my shirt which and today we're going to be using the gildan shirt right here the tagless rip away you can basically just rip this tag off i would say cut it so you don't cut the threads that's in the tag. This is a plain, extra large for me, t-shirt. But while I'm doing that, you should also already have your heat press on. And because I know what type of vinyl I'm using, I already know that my degrees Fahrenheit is gonna be about 305. I'm a, first, I'm gonna pre-press it for like five seconds. And then I'm gonna press this design on for about 12 seconds with a covering so let me show you guys how that's actually going to work get your heat press ready now if you're wondering what type of heat press this is this is one of those four hundred dollar uh, amazon ones but my theory is that if you go cheap you get cheap stuff this lasted me for quite a while but this metal piece on this one broke because you can't put that much pressure on it so starting off yeah if you want to go ahead and put the four hundred dollars in there you can buy this one my suggestion would be go to heatpress.com or heat transfer and buy or stalls and buy that heat press. I have another heat press coming that's I paid about $1,300 for. It's the same size as this, but it's more professional, like literally more professional. So the more you the more you spend, the better equipment that you will get. Even though this bad boy did last me for a while until this piece broke. And I actually ended up calling a uh, Chinese company and asking them if they could send me new handles, which they did. So big ups to them, but get yourself expensive gear because it will last longer. Now we're just gonna take and go ahead and pre-press our design for about five seconds. Make sure you guys pay attention to where you are placing your design. I know already that my design is gonna be four inches from the neck plate and four inches from the side of the sleeves. That's why you always want to make sure you have one of these. Now that your heat press is starting to heat up and it's almost getting to 305, you wanna make sure you go ahead and pre-press your shirt. Got my shirt and my heat press and I'm just gonna pre-press it for about five seconds. Let that cool down. You can set the timer on your heat press. Lift that up. You want to make sure you have a ruler or a measuring tape to measure four inches from the neckline and four inches from the arm because that is the correct parameters of what you want to do for your things. When your heat press is ready, you can start your design by grabbing boom, your first one that you're going to be using. And let's go ahead and measure easy four inches. I always go a little bit away from it so I know that beeping noise mean that my heat press is ready. So 
I know where my heat press is going to, my design is going to start at. And that's when I make sure the neckline is the correct. Correct, so I know where I'm placing my design. So boom, I'm going to lay it right about there. You can see it right here. That's where it's going to be. Now the next thing what you want to do is for this uh, heat transfer, you're going to need to put a covering over this. Got my silk screen, got that. I'm gonna place that over it, and I know I'm gonna do this for 12 seconds. So we're just gonna go ahead and clamp this down, make sure the pressure is on correct. Clamp that down, press my timer. Now this is not the expensive one. You have it doesn't release by itself, but it can auto. You just do it yourself manually. Uh, that's why I kind of like it like that. But make sure you go ahead and lift it up when the correct time is needed. That's the noise. Let that thing up. Lift it up. Boom. Now this should be straight. This is a hot peel, meaning once you heat it up the first time, you're going to want to peel it off right away. And boom. Just like butter, baby. Just like butter. And I'll show you at the end what it, what it looked like for both. Now, take your covering again. This is called sealing the design inside the t-shirt after you do it the first time. I do it the same amount of time for 12 seconds. Start your timer. Now this is gonna basically lock in the ink inside the t-shirt. The first print is printing on the heat transfer on the shirt. Second one is sealing it inside the material. So um, some, sometimes you don't need to do that, but most times I would say it's better to, to do that. That's gonna be it for the front of the shirt boom <clears throat> now this is what the front of the shirt looks like and it's looking exactly like how the design looks on the uh, actual website now we're going to get to the back of the shirt now make sure you have the correct side on your shirt you know where your design is going to be. Make sure you have your measuring tape. It's going to be four inches from the middle. And pay attention and make sure you have the correct side for your design where it's going to be. Uh, so that's going to go right here. You're just going to slip that right here. And make sure it is four inches from the top. It's on there. Let's take our covering silk let's go ahead and clamp that down Bruh, it's designed look at that now that looks amazing now this is literally your creation your fun shirt you didn't pay a thousand dollars for it you probably paid five and that is the end for that design just like that and this is what the back of the shirt looks like and then this is what the front and if we look at the website it basically looks exactly the same like i said you didn't pay a thousand dollars for it and um yeah hope you guys like this video please be sure to go ahead and hit that like hit that subscribe button down below show some love and support if you want to check out my clothing brand restless right here make sure you look at it right there the website will be up soon the instagram is down below and i hope to see you guys another day if this video gets a 10,000 likes i will do the black lewis with time video to show you guys how to make that shirt and the first 10 people to write a comment down below will get free restless shirts that you guys will see in the future on this channel love and peace see you guys in another day in another video au revoir peace